Hey, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can construct uh, forms or components which are called controlled and uncontrolled in React. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I have a starter app and I have a form and I have an input type of text and another input type of text and then we have an input type of submit and it's not it's just HTML right now and it's not using React. So the first thing what you want to do is for a control component is to define for the state variable. So I'm going to just uh, define uh, for one of the component which is the control component, uh, the first one, uh, something called input value. You could just define it to be anything you want, but I'm just calling it input value. And on input change, I'm going to uh, bind this method for event and handle submit. I'm also trying to bind this method. Right now, these things are not being called. So what you want to do is basically for a control component, you want to set the value to be uh, whatever is in the state variable here. This dot state dot input value, for example. So it will take the value from the state and keep it here. And what you want to do is on change, uh, call the method we just created uh, this dot on input change. So this will call this method. And on input change, what we can do is we can just set the state uh, to be a new value, for example. And the new value, you can just uh, set uh, input value to be something else. And in this case, what I'm going to do is uh, take in the event and target dot value and change it to uppercase. That way we kind of know whether uh, we are changing it. So if you just make this change, let's see what happens here. As you can see, initially the value was controlled in the state. Here the value is controlled. And so it's going to essentially uh, show that value. And then if I change it or type something, you can see it is capitalized. And uh, which is because it comes in the handler and we are changing it to uppercase and assigning it to the new state. So this is actually uh, the, the most standard way of changing uh, or uh, input and uh, working with forms and it's called the control component. Uh, other thing you can do is uh, besides this control component is to uh, uh, do it in a slightly different way for an uncontrolled component and in an uncontrolled component which I would demonstrate with this one is basically we get access to the underlying HTML and we can uh, access it when you're submitting and uncontrolled component can be useful then you don't have to change it at every click or modify what's coming in as an input. So let me just quickly uh, demonstrate that as well. So since I have the handle submit uh, method, I want to uh, make sure on form uh, on submit we call that. So on submit we'll call that method. And it would be called this dot handle submit just because it's part of the class. So it's being set. And once it is being called on submit, what we want to do is access the access all of the form components and be able to manipulate that. So the easiest way to do that is uh, for the second uh, value, I'm going to do it as an uncontrolled component. So we want to access the HTML for that. And uh, the way to do it in React is to use what is called ref. And the way it works is you can just uh, access it in a lambda fashion here. And I'm going to just uh, define a new um, uh, uh, property on this class which we can access. So I'll just call it uncontrol, uncontrol input. And we will just assign it to the HTML itself. So what this does is uh, it's going to assign uncontrol input the value of this HTML. And whenever the form is submitted, we come here. What we can do is uh, take a quick look as to what this value is. And I'm just going to log this value. So we can say this uncontrol input dot value. And this is uh, right now just going to uh, log this value. And uh, we want to uh, not submit the form. So we can, uh, I'm just going to call even dot prevent default here because we're not really interested in submitting the form. 
So if I take a quick look here, let's say if I enter any information, nothing is happening right now. And what we can do is uh, set in just a little breakpoint here on submit. So if I entered U, it should come in here. And you can see the input value is what we wanted. So at this point, when the form gets submitted, you have access to the full HTML. You can get its value and you can do whatever you uh, need to do. So to summarize, uh, to work with an uncontrolled component, all you really need to do is uh, essentially get access to the HTML and then you can on submit uh, get its value and do what you need to do. And uh, for a normal control component, you want to set the state and handle it that way. So as you can see, uh, those are the two basic methods to work with React forms and hopefully you found this useful. I will add that to uh, my uh, website or associate under uh, React Uncontrolled and Controlled Components. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.